This is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I want to be going over decorticate versus decerebrate posturing. And what I want to do in this video is I want to do a quick review and go over the differences between these two types of posturing and give you an easy way on how to remember the differences between the two that I was taught in nursing school. Now these two types of posturing are abnormal and they occur with some type of brain injury. So let's look at the differences between the two. First, let's look at decorticate posturing. This is a type of flex posturing and it can indicate damage to the cerebral hemispheres. And there will be adduction and flexion of the arms. The hands will be closed shut, they'll be flexed, and the legs will be rotated internally with the feet plantar flex. And an easy way to remember this is to pay attention to those arms. And look at the word decorticate. And the letter C-O-R, core, the patient will bring their arms to the core of the body, the middle, which is different because in decerebrate they don't do that. So remember those arms brought to the core of the body. Now let's look at decerebrate. This is a type of extended posturing and can indicate damage to the brain stem. And this is the worst type of posturing between the two. There will be adduction and extension of the arms and pronation of the hands and the fingers will be flexed along with extended legs and plantar flexion of the feet. And to help you remember this, again, pay attention to those arms and look at all the E's in the word decerebrate. There's a lot of them. So remember the word extended. The arms are going to be extended rather than flex on how you've seen that in decorticate. Okay, so that's a quick review on decorticate versus decerebrate posturing. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.